What you don't do is you go to Portugal, you grab a guy who is selling fruit on the streets on the streets of Lisbon, and then you say, you're not tasked with taking a drug. See, do you know how? I mean, my God, man. <laughs> Jose Pizarro. That is who has been hired as um, the new manager for Nigeria. I know you don't know who he is, but of course you do. Have you ever been on the road? You felt hungry. Like, um, I'm starving. Oh, what do you want? I want an apple, or an orange, or maybe a pear. Sure. Who's that guy? He's, this guy sells fruits! That's who Jose Becerra is. He's a fruit seller. He's a fruit seller. I want you to tell me, this is from the BBC, let me just read what it says. The new man's biggest success came during the first two spells at Sporting Lisbon in 045. He led them to third, not second, not first. He led them to third place in the Portuguese league and to the UEFA Cup final. So his biggest success has been third place in the Portuguese league and UEFA Cup final. When I retweeted this on Twitter, shout out to my Portuguese friends, man. Obrigado, man, to my Portuguese friends, man. They came out and they laughed. And they were like, half up, I'm sorry. But you, but you got a bomb. <laughs> Your federation had a bomb. And that is where we are right now. Nigeria had a bomb. They had a bomb. This guy is a bomb. And this is what I want to just put forth to my fellow Nigerians out there. Which is why I told you, after 98, emotionally... I said, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, nah, I, 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 I can't do this. And that's, that's after 98. But you see, this speaks to a larger point because this is about um, slave mentality. This is about a lack of faith in your own. And this is about as long as it's not black, it's got to be better. Are you telling me that with all the work that Sondo Lise has done, I'm sure the experience that Egwavon has had, and all of these guys have had, keeping in mind that they are Nigerian and they understand the fabric and the DNA of Nigerian football, these guys won't do a better job than some dude whose only claim to fame is a UEFA Cup final. <laughs> because my thing is, even if he won the Portuguese league, even if he won the UEFA Cup, it is still a lot to ask of coming to Nigeria and trying to get a Nigerian team to play the best. Because, see, this is what you have to understand about international football. This is what you have to understand. Go through the, the history of World Cup. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but go through the history. Every time a team has won the World Cup, the manager has been from the country. Very rarely do you have a situation where a manager not from the country does well. The only instance I can think of is South Korea and Gus Hiddink, who took them to the semis. But even then, referee tax. <laughs> Referee tax. So, more times than not, you have to get that. See, the only time in which for is different from Nigeria was Westerhoff and Bonfredjo. Because Westerhoff took Nigeria um, to the 94 World Cup and did very well. And also, what's it called? Actually, sat next to Westerhoff's wife um, on a plane once, and his wife is Nigerian. And obviously, Bonfredjo, who won the Olympics in 96 with Nigeria. But the, but the, the, the thing with, with those two guys is they understand. See, these guys, they understand Nigerian football. And because they, because they, and the key thing is that, especially in, because see, Bonfrejo was Westerhoff's assistant. Westerhoff, he lived in Nigeria. He embedded himself in Nigerian culture. So he understood the technical qualities of Nigerian football. But because he lived there, he understood the DNA. What you don't do is you go to Portugal. You grab a guy who is selling fruit on the streets on the streets of Lisbon, and then you say, "You're not tasked with taking a drug." See, do you know how? 
I mean, my God, man, the stupidity is crazy. So you're taking this trash dude who Portuguese people, my Portuguese brothers say this guy's trash. And he's now tasked with two of the most important games in Nigeria, in, in, in a long term in Nigeria football, i.e., the players. Because Eguavo is, is going to be doing the AFCON. And that he's now going to be replaced by this guy who. So your first games will be the playoffs. You know, I, I think I think Nigeria might can get. I don't know sure. I think they can get Ghana in in the playoffs. So, what happens when they don't make the, the playoffs? He still stays on. So my thing though is, who are the? I want to be kind. I want to be kind, but who are the norm skulls? Who are the idiotic norm skulls? See, this is why I love the platform I have, because I care. Because I care. As in really care, I will. I, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm never going to interview any of the NFF guys or any of the players, because my duty is to you, the audience. So I'm not going to be like, well, I better not say anything within, within the NFF guys because I want to be able to hopefully interview like Pinnick and and all of these guys so that I can be able to boost the channel and get higher. No, no, no. This is bigger than that because I care, and I think it's important that I'm 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 truthful here. These NFF guys, you're acting like slaves. You're acting like this is a dumb, dumb decision. And if I was to interview them, which I never will, but if I was to interview them, I said, no, this is a dumb, this is a stupid de decision. Why are you hiring this no name? Who the hell is getting on raw? Who is this freaking dude? You see, Betty Votes made sense. But even when you look at Betty Votes, even if Be Be Betty Votes was still a very well known manager in Germany and, and, and so forth, I think it took. I think he took Germany to the 98th World Cup, I think. Um, you have to get somebody that understands Nigerian football. The issue is you're now going to get a guy coming from Europe trying to instill a European mentality onto Nigerians. And this is what... This is what Africans cannot beat Europeans at European football. South Americans can't beat Europeans at European football. Africa can only beat you playing an African kind of football. Um, what's, what, 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 what's it called? Um, South Americans can only beat Europeans by playing a South American brand of football. You can't beat Europeans at their own game. You can't. <laughs> I mean, because that is the thing. The thing that oh no, we have you know you know Europe is the best. This guy obviously has experience in Europe, so he's, he's going to bring in that European thing. So no 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 no, Europe are like oh sure, you want to beat us at our game. See, you're trying to learn this. This comes naturally to us because it's in our DNA. It's, it's in our, 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 our blood. What makes a World Cup interesting is you're like, oh, now we're coming up with this whole African blend, which is what's why the team, oh my God, which is why Nigeria made such an impact in 94. Why they made such an impact in 94 was guys were like, wait, who the heck are these guys? Because Westerhoff knew that, I know I'm Dutch, but these guys are Nigerian. So I'll... I'll sprinkle some Dutch tech technicalities here, but I've got to let these guys express themselves. I've got to let, let these guys really show their personality. I've really got to allow these guys to play in that very unorthodox, show I'm leg, Nigerian way of flowing, you know? So, which is why when they played against, whether it was Argentina, Greece, Bulgaria, even Italy, guys are like, man, who are these guys? Which is why, to this day, people just say, man, that 94 team, because... Again, I'm not trying to be biased or so forth. I know Cameroon did their thing in 1990. I know Senegal did their thing in 02. That's 94 team. Guys, like, no, no. These guys were different. And I'll say it to this day. Maldini should have been sent off for fouling um, Amunike, which would have meant that it's able to be down to freaking nine men after Zolo got sent off. But it is what it is. I, I, guys, I can't, man. I just can't. I can't. See, for me, I've gone let's ride. Guavon, you know, from the from the ninety four school and everything, let's ride, man. I'm seem, I'm fully behind it. It's it's a, it's a it's a local coach, Nigerian coach, Nigerian manager. Let's do the same thing. January eleventh, Egypt. Let let's let's ride. So I'm, I'm all in. But once the African finishes, and this fruit seller is now tasked with now taking Nigeria for the playoffs, and Lord knows who Nigeria gonna get for that playoffs. I'm like, this is a mess. And here's the thing: even if he wins the playoffs. Which I think is now highly in doubt because I don't believe in this clown. But even if they win these the playoffs, they're probably not gonna get through the groups. 
because you can't get a European fruit seller cannot teach Africans how to play European football effectively. A top tier European manager can only teach Africans how to play European football to a certain degree. Can only teach Asians how to play European football to a certain degree. Can only teach uh, freaking North America, well, North America, they're mixed. South America to play European football to a certain degree. So, so, so I mean, it's, I mean, the stupidity is, is, is incredible, man. So, um, What's, what is wrong with Nigerians, man? <laughs> how, can, I mean, how could you be so, like, you know, how can you have such little belief in yourself and in your talent? Sunday Lisa only left because of that issue with um, Ayema and, and, and so forth and, and everything. But, like, I mean... 